welcome back to part two for the Zentangle Dragonfly. Um, once your uh, gold is outlined, start using your pencil to draw in whatever designs you want inside your dragonfly. Um, once you've drawn it all on with pencil, um, I'm going to skip past all of my drawing with pencil so that it doesn't bore you. You'll be able to see it better with the gold anyway. But as you can see, I've just kind of drawn on like a rainbow, flowers, uh, mandala, some uh, stripes. Um, you can do checkers, whatever you want. Now with the gold paint, you go in over all of your designs once you're happy and you outline everything in gold. And this is where you get to be completely creative on your own. You decide what you want or you can use my design as well. Um, you'll be able to see the picture on Etsy or Pinterest or Facebook as well as Instagram um, in order to get some ideas from it. Um, I have done a couple of these Zentangled Dragonflies before. I just like color and uh, I use a mixture of different types of paint because uh, it definitely changes it up if you use uh, regular acrylic and then you use a bit of sparkly in another spot or a bit of metallic in another spot. It just really makes it fancy. Just change up your different types of paint. So I've got flowers. Um, the second bump down from the head is going to be uh, bee stripes, so like a bumblebee. Um, just do whatever um, whatever makes you happy. And it kind of looks really cool with just the black and gold. So if you want to leave it there, you're done. Now spray it. <laughs> Today I'm going to use uh, lots of color. I love color. Um, but first I'm going to show you like an ombre technique where you go from dark to light. So you start with a base color like this purple. Make sure that you uh, do enough coats that it's covered because we're going to be changing the color on the next stripe. I love doing ombre. Now all you do is add one drop or drip of white paint into the purple or whatever color you're starting with after you've finished that first stripe with it. Mix in one drop and it just lightens it enough that you'll be able to see a change. And like I said, make sure that you, you wait and see if you need to do two coats before you move on to the next drip of white paint. It's hard to get that color back. So I'm moving on to the third stripe. There's five stripes there and each stripe is gonna be just a little bit lighter than the next. And it just gives it a really cool look. Just to give you some ideas for what you can do in here. There you go. Now I'm going to fill in uh, these petals with white because I want them to be a really bright, bold color. So I want them to have a base coat of white there. So I'm just going to fill in the petals with white and let them dry and then put a really nice color over top so that they really stand out. Now I'm going to do my B stripes. I'm going to add some sparkle, some extreme glitter, hologram, one of my favorites. Once again, I'm just kind of changing up the different types of acrylic paint that I'm using. I did a chakra colored rainbow. There's also a, a mandala on the other wing. I'm gonna make some checkers here. And I'm gonna outline the leaves in black just so they stand out. It's 
starting to look pretty colorful already. Zentangle artwork definitely catches your eye. I've got some black and white stripes on that wing. Um, my flower petals have dots on them. So just do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Now I'm gonna do some um, jelly, uh, jelly portions of this uh, dragonfly. Now I'm gonna add white on one end, blue, navy blue on the other, and then use a blending brush or a small fuzzy old brush and blend those two colors together because I want this to look kind of like a jelly bean. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white on the top to make it look like it's really shiny. I'm also gonna do uh, two more, possibly three more. This one's a cranberry on one side and we're gonna put some white paint on the other side and blend it together. If you need help with blending, definitely take a look at my uh, gemstone or sorry well you can look at the dragonfly or dragon eye tutorial or the gemstone tutorial as well to find more out about blending it like that just kind of blend it together and it kind of comes together like a little jelly portion of the dragon dragonfly and it's okay if, you, if you're blending and you go outside on the gold, you can just outline it again. So I've got a dark blue jelly portion. I got a cranberry jelly portion. I'm gonna do a green one as well. So half green, half white. Blend it all together until it looks like it's a little piece of jelly. and then you add your little bit of white. Now for the white wings, I'm gonna use a Drift Folk Art paint. Now it pops right off that rock in that color, thanks to the white background. There, I've added some magenta dots in the center of that flower. I've colored in the, the mandala on the other side there. Added some spirals, some flowers and dots, and of course my signature. And we're going to take it downstairs to be sprayed. Definitely take a look at the photo on Facebook to get your ideas from my rock. It's hard to see it when it's moving around. Spray it up. And thank you guys all for taking a look at this tutorial today.